Welcome to the RoboLinux XFCE version 7.61 Fast as Greased Lightning test drive. My name is John Martinson and I'm the founder of RoboLinux. So let's see just how fast the new RoboLinux XFC version loads and how much RAM it uses. As you can see I have this dock over here on the right that's uh, hidden if I want it to be hidden. I've got the one on the bottom, I can hide that too. I can put one on the left, one on the top, whatever I want. Let's load RoboLinux. See how long it takes to load. Then we'll check the RAM usage in full composite video graphics. and just log in. Watch how fast it logs in. And check that RAM at 139, 140, probably because it's checking for software updates. It did find one down here on the right. Um, usually it runs anywhere from 137 when it first loads, but that's pretty acceptable, 140. Now let's see how long it takes to shut down. See if we can do that faster than that Hornet A18. Go to the shutdown here. As you can see, actually, I've got one version of RoboLinux running in uh, Central Time in US and another one running in Asia. Um, so let's do a shutdown. Should be less than seven seconds. And there you go. This is tantamount to piloting a new Super Hornet A18 jet, as you can see, so hence the metaphor introductory video. It is in fact so fast you will be left breathless in awe. Today I'm going to show you and be your pilot in the cockpit the newly released RoboLinux XFC version for you in this video. This new RoboLinux XFC version is extremely optimized, highly stable, fully tested for months and months. It doesn't even require a video driver to be installed when running in full composite graphics mode, which is the default, by the way. If you're a Windows user, this new streamlined Linux OS will blow your mind because it is so fast, super easy to use, and reliable. Best of all, it runs your favorite Windows apps inside it natively as well. We'll see that in a moment. Please note that RoboLinux is the only free operating system on the earth today that provides free expert tech support with a one to two hour turnaround time during business hours. However, we can only continue doing this with your kind donations. Please, please keep that in mind. So let's get started immediately. First I want to show you around the operating system and so let's take a look at the streamlined menu system which is incredibly easy to operate. Down here um, you have your categories like this. So here I've got my favorites. And to add a favorite you could just simply go over here. Let's go to Internet and we'll add Firefox as a favorite. There we go. Now it's in the favorites. You can also right-click an app and if you want to 
you can add it to the panel. As you can see, I've already added some to the panel. And so we have installers. Um, you can install Firefox, the newest version, anytime you want to. Um, and in the event that Debian doesn't update and overwrites it, it's just one click to restore the original, brand new, real Firefox. And you've got your Google Earth uh, installer here. Caden Live Video Editor, incredible. Plex Media Server, absolutely fantastic. And here, look at this one. We can run Netflix in Robo Linux in all your browsers, whether they be um, Firefox or Google Chrome. And I'm running my Spider Oak uh, fully encrypted zero knowledge uh, cloud, as you can see on the bottom tray over here. I'm also running, um, I'm also running my VPN connection uh, from uh, uh, virtual private network. Okay, so uh, back to the menu, and you've just got loads and loads of stuff. Here's all your Office programs from LibreOffice. Um, You've got the full stealth VM set up for you to go. Um, um, and multimedia, that's pretty exciting. We've got Amarok. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, that's from KDE, even though this is an XFC operating system. Audacity, so you can record and edit audio files. And as you can see, all these here you can make your own ISOs. K3B, very popular. Uh, CD and DVD burning uh, application. I'm using Kazam Screencaster right now. Um, Mixer, Parole, small video player. Um, you got your volume control. Actually, this is a GNOME application, Pulse Audio. So we've got all three mixed here, as you can see. KDE, uh, XFCE, of course, um, and GNOME. And Sound Juicer, so you can uh, rip CDs. Um, uh, and add uh, MP3s to your to your uh, Amarok, and of course VLC, the standard in uh, media players for video, and Volti, small uh, volume control you can add. And anyway, it, we you can add more if you like. Um, and here's our settings up here. This is where you can set your screen saver. That's kind of fun to look at. We didn't have one in the uh, in the uh, previous version. Uh, or our first version of RoboLinux, which we now call RoboLinux GNOME. So you can set your screen saver, which is nice. And you have all these other settings, as you can see. Installers, I uh, already showed that. Drivers, the drivers, uh, we've got custom built drivers for your printer, no charge. Uh, no one else does that as well. Um, here, if you want a custom system modification, we can provide that for you. All you do is click here, and after it's been built, you get an email, and you can you can run that from here. Um, uh, video drivers, you don't even really need them with this version, um, but if you want one, you can you can uh, let us uh, build one for you. If we don't already have one, um, which are down here, your ATI Legacy, uh, ATI Radions, your NVIDIA. Um, you know, we even have the brand new, we always have the newest HP um, printer uh, series, which uh, supports wireless. Um, and then just tons and tons of Wi-Fi drivers, and there's more added um, as people, if they ever find uh, that they need them. So that's the driver section. Um, so I've pretty much covered the main menu. One of the neat features here, like when you're looking for a driver, you want to see the model numbers down here. Just grab the top of your menu like this and just, you know, make it as big as you want so you can read, you know, what, you know, what's in the menu option. I like to keep mine nice and tight like that. Okay. Now, this is one of the big things I absolutely love about uh the XFCE system. Um, I've got my Thunar file manager set as the default. I can open it anywhere I want, just like this. I mean, I can have as many as I want. If they get in the way, I can, you know, make them small. I can load a terminal instantly. Um, you know, if I want to move something to another desktop, it goes instantly from one to the other like this. It's just, I mean, the productivity is amazing. Um, absolutely just love it. Um, so, you can also set the default uh, to Dolphin, which is uh, really another one of my favorites because you can do split screen. Um, setting the uh, file manager uh, default is done through settings. 
So we have um, we have shut down Robo Linux, and now it's time to load some uh, some other um, interesting applications such as our Windows operating systems. Let's load XP. And then uh, we'll flip over here and we'll just grab uh, Windows 7. Notice how quickly they load. Um, the difference between our GNOME version and this XFC is, I mean, it is, it's stunning. So, um, let's see here we were, let's go to XP, we'll load uh, XL, uh, and over here, let's, let's see what we've got going on. we got a dry V. Um, oh, look, there's nothing in dry V. Let's go put something in there. Just right click, load the file manager. Um, I'll go to my download folder, grab this open VPN, set file, drop it in. Here you can, like, for example, you can just, you know, make bookmarks by dragging down here to the left. It's just so productive. Um, let's go to the documents folder and we'll paste that and get back over here into Windows 7, or oops, Windows 7. And when we reload, because Windows likes to reload stuff, to, oh, there it is, you see it. There's the zip file. Let's see if it's also in the XP uh, shared um, folder in Dry V. And of course it will be. And there it is. And if we were to delete it from inside here, um, let's see, of course it would delete um, from the Robo Linux documents folder. See, it's gone. It's wonderful sharing your data, keeping it safe with a RoboLinux Stealth VM. Uh, so uh, you can have four of these docs. Um, you know, we don't have this one hidden right now on the bottom. Um, and that's just so I can operate it, but it, you can hide it if you want to. I've loaded several programs. I just move my mouse. Um, you know, I can toggle between them down here. You know, any open space. Um, it's it, it's so quick. It's just crazy. I mean, this it really is like piloting a jet. I mean, I'm not kidding. Um, so here, let's go to Amarok, and I've got some music here. Um, you know, there's my Firefox. Uh, here's my uh, Thunderbird. Um, it, it, this is just an absolutely. I, we're really ecstatic about this operating system. And I know you will be as well. So I want to thank you for your time watching the RoboLinux XFC version 7.6.1 test drive. Please tell all your friends about us if you like RoboLinux. And be sure to click like us on Facebook. That's very helpful. Um, it doesn't take you any time. Thank you again and have a great day. And may God bless you and your family.